And today's discussion begins with talks on leadership, this time inculcating the leadership values in the youth and junior achievement Nigeria, which started operations in Nigeria in 1999, has been involved in catching them young. So, since inception, junior achievement has reached thousands of students in hundreds of schools in different locations across the country through the organization's volunteers. The good news coming from this organization is that the Junior Achievement Lead Camp 2016 program is here. In fact, it's about ending today. Mm. And so we have in the studio the CEO of HOD Consulting, Simisola Mogo. Thank you. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for joining us. Thank you. Also, the head of programs at Junior Achievement Nigeria, Adeze Oputa. Good morning. Good to have you here. Thank you. And we have two lovely, um, you know, young people also here. Um, Moriam Tijani. Good morning, ma'am. I got that right, Moriam. Okay, and of course, Agatha Anthony Akudi. Mm. So they are here to tell us all about this camp. Um, let me start with you. Yeah. So <laughs> tell us about the Jan Lead Camp. Okay, so the Jan Lead Camp is a, is an enrichment program. Uh, we Junior Achievement Nigeria is a nonprofit that teaches economic education in schools. We teach entrepreneurship, financial literacy, and workforce readiness. Mm -hmm. And there's a particular program that our flagship program called the Company Program, in which we go to secondary schools across the country and we teach business skills, entrepreneurship skills. The SS2 students actually build a business from scratch. They learn how to raise money by selling shares of stock. They learn how to go into production with the money they have raised, figure out what will sell within their community, go into production, sell it, and uh, keep financial records. And at the end of it, they do they uh, liquidate all assets, return profits to shareholders mm -hmm. as dividends at and SS3. At SS2 yes. and SS3. <laughs> SS3. <laughs> SS2, and then they uh, write an annual report and uh, return it to junior achievement. So we know that their company program went well. Um, and in, when I, I brought Junior Achievement to Nigeria, it's an international organization. And when we first started doing the company program, of course, it was a lot of boys uh, because it's business. But then we noticed that some of the girls who were in the programs, by, when we, at the beginning, they were shy and timid. But by the end, they were running the show. They were really, their confidence had been boosted. And uh, then that was back in 2000 and 2001. We decided, is there something we can do to really build on the confidence of these girls, uh, particularly those from outside Lagos that we are seeing really co come into their own? And so we developed the LEAD camp. LEAD stands for Leadership, Empowerment, Achievement, and Development Camp. And basically, as the name implies, they go through leadership workshops. They meet different women um, leaders in different sectors on empowerment. Um, they have projects they have to achieve. Uh, by the end of the week called the achievement sessions and then we bring in different experts to talk to them about self-development for the development sessions. Mm. Uh, I like yes. that the, the company program. Was it, is it a mock company or they actually given real money to run a company? It's a real company. They actually run and we actually have a company of the year competition where each region, they, all the companies come together and they have a panel uh, judge them on their companies, their business plans, their businesses, and the people who win in the region come to Lagos for a national competition. The people who win in Lagos now go internationally because Junior Achievement is in over 100 countries worldwide, mm. and they compete to see which business was sustainable, was uh, good to the community, was profitable. You know, they have different levels that they measure. And in 2014, our Nigerian girls won. Government Girls Secondary School in Abaji, in Abuja, they won. So we're very proud of them. A lot of the girls come from public schools, so we're really proud that this builds their confidence. Okay, so this is about catching them young. Yes. But I think we'll just uh, go on a break. And yes. when we come back, Adeze will be here to tell us, and of course, the beautiful lady is here. Just stay with us. Welcome back. Now, do remember that you can, you can be a part of a conversation. Our Twitter handles are showing there. As usual, please send your comments and your tweets. Keep it short, straight to the point. The phone lines will open along the way. If you're calling, please go straight to the point. Keep it short and simple, as we say. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back here. We're talking leadership. So, Adese, um, Tell us what 
junior achievement since 1999. Mm -hmm. yes, you reached thousands in different hundreds of schools. Mm -hmm. But in your opinion, mm -hmm. would you say junior achievement coming into the country is timely? Of course. Um, I think you'd be able to agree that there is, we, we do have some economical issues and one of the biggest ones is um, unemployment. And we would like to be able to create an even playing field or a level playing field for our students that graduate from university to be able to compete on a global scale. And um, one of the ways of doing that is to be able to empower them and not just empower them but educate them outside of the academic curriculum. So teaching them things like um, uh, programs in the field of uh, um, uh, entrepreneurship or workforce development and, uh, and uh, financial literacy, all those things are important to create a more well-rounded um, student once they graduate and for them to be able to compete. Um, and then our, our mission essentially is to bridge that gap be between the classroom and the, uh, and the workplace and I feel like um, Junior Achievements Nigeria is doing that and that's going to help combat that issue of unemployment eventually. But you, 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 it looks like the focus has been on the post-primary school level, that secondary school. Well, no, we, we have programs in primary school. We have our, our um, demographic is from ages 5 to 27. So that's going to cut across primary school, secondary school, and we also have a, a, a venture and management program for NYC students as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, you have this program across the country, yes. 29 locations, mm -hmm. uh, the local governments. How do you get your funding? Well, that's a very interesting question. Um, we have we have very strong partners, and not just um, uh, sponsorship um, externally, but we also have a very very um, able board of directors. Um, so we have, and Mr. Mimi will be able to help me with this. We have Agile um, Communications. We have Accenture. Um, we have Deloitte. Uh, we have Dangote. Um, we have Citibank. Um, we have um, Exxon Mobil, First Bank, 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 Bank. Bank. So, so you, you you have your back. <laughs> yes. <First> Bank. <laughs> Well, the, the board provides the funds for the operations of the yes. organizations, and then we also have to go out and look for funds for the programs. Exactly. So uh, we don't want any of our program sponsors to say, oh, but if I give you this money, is it going to pay salaries? We say no, our board members pay the salaries, pay our, our rent, mm -hmm. pays everything. But the programs, because our programs are free to schools, mm -hmm. they need sponsors so that we can expand. So, for example, if a company in... Um, this area decides that there are some schools in this area they'd like to sponsor, then we can get into the company, not just the funds, but the company will also provide volunteers. We will train to go in and teach the program. Okay, enough of you adults. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you were part of the 2016 camp. Yes. Tell us your experience. As far as I was not aware of the potential I have, but the lead camp, um, um, leadership workshop,